Richard Westcott, BBC News. Thousands of skilled workers who can't find jobs in Greece, Spain and Portugal could help fill vacancies in other parts of the EU. That's the message from the European Commission, which has launched a new drive to encourage job mobility. It wants government employment agencies in different countries to work more closely together. But there's been strong opposition to the idea from Europe's largest trade union, which says the strategy will cause a brain drain from the south of the continent and limit economic recovery. Maddie Savage reports from northern Belgium. Building a new future. Pedro Guimaraes moved here a few months ago after struggling to find a job in Portugal. The negative things to, to be here, it's um, to be far away from the family and uh, the, the friends and uh, the good weather too. Uh, and the, the positive things is uh, to have some money to pay the bills and uh, to help the, the family. At the moment, he's on a one-year contract, but if he wants to stay, he's in with a good chance. The unemployment rate here is half that in Portugal. Pedro was helped to find his job by Portugal's Public Employment Service, which is working directly with job agencies here in Belgium. It's all part of an EU scheme to try and match unskilled workers who can't find jobs at home with unfilled vacancies in other countries. Between January 2009 and November 2012, the number of Portuguese, Spanish and Greeks signed up online to the EU's job matching service went from around 60,000 to 300,000. But during that period, only 5,000 of them found jobs through the service, a tiny amount when you consider the estimated 5.5 million vacant positions across Europe. The figures don't include those who've moved here with the help of private agencies like these nurses or others who've had more indirect help from the EU's employment service, advice and information rather than job matching. But the European Commission admits it needs to work harder to persuade more recruiters to advertise abroad. We know from statistics that mobility of workers in the EU is very low. There's a lot of room for improvement. What the European Commission encourages employment services to do is to increase the flow and the exchange of vacancies so that workers have access to a wider pool of posts. Many of those who protested against high unemployment across Europe last week don't want to leave their home countries. And critics also talk about the so-called brain drain, if too many talented workers move away and never come back. Having engineers, for example, going out from, from Spain or from Portugal will have an absolute negative impact on the future of the uh, industry, of the economy in the, in, the, in the following years, in the coming years. Back on the building site, Pedro says he will return to Portugal once he's made some money. But he knows plenty of others who are in no rush to go home. Maddie Savage, BBC News in Grot Beigarden in Belgium. Well, uh, lots of uh, flooding today.